plaintiff, Danielle Coyne, met the defendant 14 years ago and they started dating. Danielle claims they had a lot of ups and downs, from the birth of their son to the defendant cheating on her. Danielle claims after they broke up, the defendant slashed her tires, broke into her house, and stole her TV because she wouldn't take him back, so she's suing. Defendant Petrail Brown admits that he cheated on Danielle, but insists she cheated as well and refuses to own up to it. Petrail denies breaking into Danielle's home and says he took the TV because he watched it more. Start with you. Well, let me tell you a little bit about us. Um, we met 14 years ago in traffic. I was actually driving down the street with one of my friends and he passed by, he saw me, he busted a U-turn and flagged us down. We pulled over, exchanged numbers. At first, I gave him a phony f number, but... Why'd you pull over then? Um, actually, my friend who was driving thought that he was trying to talk to her, so um, that's when they pulled over, and he had actually wanted to, you know, holler okay. at me, so... Um, <laughs> we exchanged phone numbers, and um, I gave him the fake number, but after talking to him for a few minutes, I realized that I, I did like him, so a couple you of days said, later... give me that number back and let me give you the real? <laughs> no, actually, I just called the phone number that he had given me a few days later, and the rest is pretty much history from there. Um, we've been through a lot of things throughout our, you know, relationship, a lot of ups and downs from him cheating on me to the birth of our son, and um, he had a near-fatal motorcycle accident, which I was there with him throughout the entire time he was rehabilitating. That's not true. I was the person that was going to work, paying the bills, making sure that I did what I had to do. He was living with you? Yeah. We exchanged phone numbers, and um, I gave him the fake number. But after talking to him for a few minutes, I realized that I, I did like him. So a couple of you days said, later... give me that number back and let me give you the real... <laughs> no. Plaintiff Danielle Coyne says after she broke up with the defendant, he slashed her tires, broke into her home, and stole her TV. What's not true? She didn't help you while you were uh, nah, she down? I, I, I can't even say that she was there for me. I don't know. I, I wasn't? A month after. Who was paying the rent? We both were. We okay, were? You were still working. How were you working? Yeah. While you, you were, were rehabilitating. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> when you had your motorcycle injury, were you hospitalized? Yeah, I was for three weeks. All right, for three weeks. Yeah. All right, did you pay the rent then? Yeah. All right. Were you working? Not while I was hospital. But you had the money to pay, obviously. Yes, sir. No. All right. And how long were you off work? Uh, maybe a good two months. All right. And you paid the rent then? No. Uh, no, I didn't because I was uh, replaced, shall I say. Oh, you weren't living there? No, actually, I couldn't because I couldn't climb the stairs. I was at my mom's. Okay. You... So that's why. All right. And then uh, when did you come back? Um, actually, she came maybe, uh, four weeks after the accident, mm -hmm. uh, dropped my son off, and... No, so you never that's went a back. lie. That's no. my point. She never let you back? No. Yes, okay, he came good. right back. All right, ma'am, you heard what he said. That's just <laughs> his word against yours. He say that he went to the hospital for three weeks. When he came back, he went to his mother's, and you never let him come back over, period. All right, but he said he paid the rent anyway. All right, I guess he's just a sucker. He paid the rent while his woman abandoned him and won't let him in. I got yeah. that. All right, go ahead, ma'am. Um, what else? Anyways... <laughs> All I pretty much have to walk away from our relationship is him slashing my tires, breaking into my house, and stealing my TV. You when know? did all this happen? In 2010. All right. What occurred? Well, first of all, I caught him cheating at me, mm -hmm. and we broke up. I asked him to Takes move. Two. He did. Takes two. Mm -hmm. Which he did. And um, shortly after, he slashed my tires. Um, the very next day after that, he broke into my house. Okay. Took Do the you, TV. Why did he slash your tires? Because... Because I wouldn't take him back. Okay. All right. And you caught him. How did you determine it was him? I called him and asked him about it. He and admitted it. He admitted it? it? Yeah. All right. And he took the television yep. also. And he told me he wasn't giving it back. All right. So let me hear from you. Well, little background. I'm 13 years in with her, you know. Uh, yeah, I cheated. I own up to that. But she cheated as well. No, I didn't. This is a this is a, a young lady over here trying to you know, pull the wool over your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, she she nice when she want to be, when she want to have her way, when she want things done. She's nice. 
You don't do them, she put that screen mask on to pull that knife out and come chasing you. Oh, wow. So. I have never chased you as with As far as slicing tires, she the one with the knife, not me. Never. You know? What does I, that mean? She's she, the one with the knife. She, uh, she, uh, she uh, sliced your tires before I would. Did you slice her tires? No, sir, she I did not. you admitted I to did it. not. I did not slice her tires. I admitted to cheating. I didn't have okay. problems with anybody. I know you right. did it. What about breaking in the house? I wouldn't have to break into a house that I had keys to. My name was on the lease still, sir. Okay. So you remember I, you? I, I actually, you know, turned the knob. Remember, and she in. never let you back. So you had to break in and get your stuff. No, nah, I didn't have to break in. I still had keys. No. Okay. All right. So when you went in, did you take the television? I took the television. I took okay. the television because I watched it more. Did... <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Who paid for it, sir? She paid for the TV, but she paid for it while we were together. So, you know, she and wasn't because watching. you watched it more than her, <laughs> well, I, I, you think you should you own it. You see what I was on. dealing with? Yeah, I now just... you're getting pitiful, man. Oh, man, offered, now uh, you're becoming embarrassing. I just watched it more. She wasn't ever there. She was working. She wasn't she working. Was working. She wasn't Thank working you. all the time. I, I didn't working. have the time to watch TV. She was TV working while you were sitting home watching TV, so therefore you thought it was yours. That, that's she paid that's for. That's not the truth, sir. She paid for Pretty it. Much. That's the truth. Yeah, she paid for it. Yeah, and you yeah. think you owned it because you watched it more. I mean, you but, think you had a right to come in and take I it. I bought the chicken and the pork chops. <laughs> I left that. Oh my God. I, I left the chicken, I left the pork chops. <laughs> I, I offered to split the TV, I you know. She didn't want to split I'm the TV. I'm not going to let you go any further, sir. <laughs> now you're embarrassing me, not just yourself. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing a whole lot of people. Plaintiff Danielle Coyne says after she broke up with a defendant, he slashed her tires, broke into her home, and stole her TV. Judgment for the plaintiff, ma'am. He uh, agrees that you bought it. He only believes that he owns it because he watched it more. <laughs> and secondly, because he brought pork chops and fried, <laughs> and fried chicken. Uh, do you buck your eyes again like he do? Pork chops and fried chicken! <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. You finally have to take responsibility for what you did. Yes, I'm so glad somebody see through your lies and your. What it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. I offered to split the TV down the middle with you. You could have had the remote. Because this is crazy.